for today's sponsor we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16 and using my SKEG discount code will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, I'm Shitkin Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So today's video is how about to fix your monitor's ghosting. I recently got a VA panel that I will send back. Uh, <laughs> but I got it recently, I will send back and keep my new IPS and actually invest in a new uh, top tier IPS panel. It will cost me like 750 euros, but yeah, I already gave like 400 euros for this one. But 750 euros, you have IPS, you have 160 hertz, you have the best color image of nano IPS that you can get and blah, 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 whatever. It's a monitor to keep for like a decade. So yeah. Now, before starting, take into consideration one thing. Uh, according to your monitors, uh, to your monitors panel, it you may be able to actually fix the problem or just let's say make it better. If you have an IPS panel, it should look like this. This is a panel with exactly zero ghosting. Okay, this is no ghosting at all. And if you have an IPS panel, you may uh, reach this point of having absolutely no ghosting. But if you have a VA panel, let's say, or IPS or TN, sorry. But if you have a VA panel like this one, yeah, there are just like two panels in all the world, two VA panels in all world that have no black smearing, okay? And it is the, uh, the both, both are the Odyssey G7, the 27 inches and the 32 inches. All the other VA panels in the market have black smearing, so black smearing slash ghosting, so yeah. Now, the first tip is the overdrive in the monitor settings, which can be called, for example, AMA for the BenQ monitors, uh, trace-free technology, um, response time, OD, it depends on your monitor's brand on or, and your monitor's OSD, of course. Uh, but usually it is that response time, overdrive, OD, AMA, trace-free technology for some older Dell monitors and so on, so on, so on. Basically, what does the overdrive do? The overdrive basically overclocks the pixels, so brings you a better pixel response. Uh, makes a faster pixel response and this is important usually to reduce the lag, the input lag, the, the response time of the monitor. When you see for example that the monitors have like one millisecond response and so on, that is the grey to grey response. But when you use the overdrive you actually overclock all the pixels so you actually have better response times across the board, not just grey to grey, uh, black to colors and so on so on so on. And that my friends, the, um, the black the black pixel, the black to color response matters a lot, a lot more than some people think. And that black smearing that you have on VA panels is actually due to that. It is due to the amount of time, to the huge amount of time that the pixels take going from black to color, okay? To a black, a darker color, to a lighter color, okay? Let's say that your monitor has like 4 milliseconds gray to gray response, but then the black response is actually, let's say, 20 milliseconds. That's when the ghosting appears. For example, if you have an IPS panel, most IPS panels will have like, um, let's say, 5 milliseconds, 5 milliseconds gray to gray, and the black response will be like 7 or 8 milliseconds. That will be completely fine depending on your hertz, okay? For, but, but in the case of VA panels, you actually have, let's say, 4 seconds or um, 4 milliseconds, sorry, or 3 milliseconds gray to gray, but you'll have a black response of, let's say, 20 milliseconds. And that's why the smearing you see in the screen happens. And the overdrive settings can actually help in that scenario because you're actually overclocking the pixels, making the response times lower. So that will reduce the smearing or the ghosting, okay? Just go to Google and write UFO ghosting test and you'll have it right there. Just test it 
and select the several overdrive settings and see if it improves it or not. Different settings will have different results and depending on your hertz, the hertz of your monitor, uh, the fastest setting may be better or not. Okay, just try the different ones with the UFO te test and leave the best for you, okay? The second tip is basically disable the overdrive. I know that I, that I told you before to actually use the overdrive, but this is more for the VA panels that have smearing just because they are VA panels. And that, that has to do with the pixels because, for example, on the IPS, the pixels are like this, they are horizontally and they will turn horizontally to actually uh, allow the black or the color, okay? While the VA panels are vertical alignment and they are like this and they will turn vertically or horizontally um, to actually let the light on or off, okay? That's why the VA panels actually have a way higher contrast ratio, for example, 3000 uh, 3, to 1 or even more compared to, let's say, uh, 700 to 1000 to 1 on the IPS panels, okay? They have way more contrast, but on the other hand, they have the black smearing exactly due to that because they, ha they have the vertical alignment, okay? So if you have an IPS panel, what you're seeing may be uh, actually overshooting or undershooting instead of the, actually go of the actual ghosting. So go there and disable the overdrive and that may help you a lot. Or you can just reduce the overdrive settings. When you have ghosting, it's, it basically means that the pixel response is not fast enough. When you have overshooting or undershooting, it means that the pixel response is overclocked too much and this will happen. Okay, ghosting and overshooting and, under, and undershooting uh, are different things, but they will feel more or less like the same. So basically, if you have an IPS panel, just put the, the overdrive settings to let's say normal or simply disable them and that will in, in fact increase the response times a bit but will also eliminate the overshoot and the undershoot. And once again this because while the response times may be better with the higher overdrive settings, you will have overshoot or undershoot and it will seem like ghosting and you won't have actually a better image overall. Now, the third tip is gamma, brightness and the contrast, okay? And I'm telling you this for the VA monitors because, like I said before, on the TN, on the IPS panels, the overdrive settings will most likely fix it. But the VA panels have the black smearing, which is the pixel response being too slow, going from darker colors to lighter colors. In order to avoid that, what we will do is basically decrease the darker colors. The colors will be crappy, okay, but the black smearing will most likely go away. So yeah, in most games it won't be really noticeable, but in some games with darker colors it will be really annoying. For example, take this example on Hellblade. It's really, really annoying. You have that, that white part passing all through the dark scenes and it is really annoying. You can't even do anything. Or if you're actually reading some text, it will be really, really annoying. So the only solution apart from the overdrive is to actually increase the brightness, the contrast and the gamma. So basically you lose image quality to get no black smearing, which is a crap, but it is what do we have. Yeah. So to conclude, increase the brightness, increase the contrast, increase the gamma uh, and increase the black stabilizer. Basically that, that will make your colors wash, washed out but it will also improve the smearing a lot. But yeah. And the fourth and last tip is to actually lower your hertz. I know, if you buy a 100 hertz monitor or 120 hertz monitor, it's because you actually want to take advantage of those 120 hertz or 100 hertz. But that can actually help. Because if you use, let's say, uh, higher overdrive settings with this VA panel, for example, you'll actually get way less smearing at 85Hz compared to 100Hz, for example, with the fastest uh, overdrive settings, okay? So you'll, you'll still get no overshoot or undershoot uh, in the lighter colors and you'll get way less smearing in the midterm ones, which is very nice. But like I said, you're basically decreasing 15 hertz 
for just a little less black smearing and in my opinion not worth it at all so yeah i prefer having 100 hertz over the 85 hertz and a bit more black smearing concluding if you have an ips or a tn panel uh, you most likely you you are most likely having overshooting and undershooting instead of actually having ghosting unless your panel is really really bad or unless your overdrive settings are really really bad also okay but basically messing with the overdrive settings on a tn and ips panel will make you have no ghosting at all as you can see in this image okay if you have a va panel well once again i have bad news you can't get rid of the black smearing even with the overdrive settings even with the brightness and so on you will always have the black smearing that is a problem that happens with the va panels and the only panels right now that can actually get the only va panels that can actually get uh read of the va smearing are the other cg7 ones the 27 inches and the 32 inches one 16 per 9 and not 21 per 9 and that is due to the overdrive settings but basically the overdrive settings are what make the black smearing disappear and those are the only monitors that can actually make that happen while using va panels okay and yeah guys basically that's it the video was recorded yesterday and i had a really big or let's call it a massive headache uh so my english wasn't properly wasn't properly spoken but well, I tried my best. I was really tired. I had like four hours sleep. Uh, and like I said before, I had a massive headache. So sorry for anything in the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope this video helped you in some way. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video. Leave your, <laughs> leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about this video and the tips that I actually gave you. And once again, hope that these tips actually helped you in some way. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.